the Snowflake Man. A shy, quiet Vermont farmer named Wilson Bentley first became fascinated with water as a child, all forms of water, including dew, frost, clouds, rain, and snow. It was snowflakes, though, that captured his imagination, curiosity, and interest, not to mention his time and energy. When he was 15, his parents bought him a microscope, and he became fascinated with the beauty of ice crystals as they turned into snowflakes. He tried to draw what he saw and made hundreds of sketches, but he, would, he knew that what he was drawing was inferior to what he was actually seeing. When he read about how cameras were being used to photograph objects through microscopes, he persuaded his parents to buy a camera, even though none of them knew anything about photography. For over a year, Bentley experimented with the camera and, in 1885, finally managed to take the first photograph of a single snow crystal. He went on to take photos of more than 5,000 snowflakes, never finding two of them alike, and published a book called Snow Crystals, which contained more than 2,400 images of snowflakes photographed on a black background so that they would stand out. His book introduced the world to the complex beauty and uniqueness of snow crystals. Bentley didn't limit his studies to snowflakes, however. In the summers, he turned to studying rain. He theorized that in order to figure out how rain is formed, he should start by measuring the size of raindrops. This idea needed to be tested, so he took a pan with flour about an inch deep and put it in the rain for several seconds. Each raindrop would soak up some flour and form a tiny pellet made of dough. When the pellets dried, Bentley measured their diameter. The simple measurement method he devised is still used today. Eventually, Bentley wrote magazine articles telling others about the beauty he saw in the world of ice crystals, and he began to lecture to various organizations. He continued to make careful observations of the weather and document his findings. In 1924, the American Meteorological Society awarded Bentley a research grant in recognition of 40 years of extremely patient work. By then, he had become known simply as the Snowflake Man.